got baby chinchillas, guys. How's everyone doing? They're almost two weeks old, baby chinchillas. How's everyone doing? Here's the extra dark ebony. It's a little girl. This is the, the ebony mosaic. And then this is a female patches. Sorry guys, and I think this yeah, that's patches. This is the only male. He's a mosaic. Sorry, guys. My nose is a little stuffy this evening. The kitties are bringing home all the germies. If you guys are new here, please give me a follow. I would appreciate it. Um, on live earlier, that the boy did a dust bath. That's the soonest I've seen a baby chinchilla ever do a dust bath. Oh my goodness, don't fall. Anthony, thank you. If you guys are new here, please follow. I go live with my baby chinchillas, my adults, and my riskies, guys. No, they're baby chinchillas, Dale. Get real fast, guys. They're everywhere. Uh, Charlie, their diet consists of chinchilla pellets. Uh, I feed mine the Oxbow brand. Um, they eat Timothy hay and uh, alfalfa hay. And these babies aren't eating the hay yet. They're still with mom. They're, they bought this litter belongs to two mommies. So, well, that, well, that's a little crazy, guy. Another spider chin. But he was the first one to do a dust bath. Thank you, Vita, for following. Sorry if I said your name wrong. <laughs> they are pretty. Charles. They'll be uh, two weeks old tomorrow. All the ones with the white tails will. And then this extra dark ebony, she'll be two weeks old. I'm sorry, on Sunday. And they're not a week old. They'll both be two weeks old. Sorry, guys, if I'm sounding kind of nasally. My nose has just been running. I'm big, but. Yep, you can message me under here, under my bio. Come on, guys, go down there. Try to hold a couple up so you guys can see them. That's the one with the little white tail. Look at this one. Oh, what are you doing? Can't do that. And then here I'll hold up the extra dark ebony. She's a girl. And then this was the one that was just climbing all the way up the top there. It's a little boy. And then I need to show this one up close. That's Patches. Because she's got that cool white bark on her rear. And he did a dust bath earlier today. There he goes again, being crazy. You crazy boy. You like patches? Yes, yeah, she's really pretty. They're all really pretty. 
and they're all different, very different looking. If you guys are new here, please give me a follow. I would appreciate it. And if you're already following, thank you. Where are you going back there? Hey, I'm going to try putting them in the dustpan. They are precious. Buddha, thanks for following. I appreciate it. None of them want to do. Now you have Lexi. Aren't they cute? They're very cute. They love climbing all over my legs. I found this out the other day. She's really pretty. She's so dark. You guys can barely see it. Like her eyes. She's so dark. See her eyes? They're like cold black. Very pretty. There's one behind me. Lauren, thanks for following the live. I appreciate your follow. A daredevil over here. So everyone, we're all ready for Christmas. You finished your Christmas shopping. I'm just waiting for most of my shopping to come in the mail. Hope everything gets mm -hmm. on time. Thanks, Violet. They are adorable. You guys would please give me a follow. I would appreciate it. Uh, Jay, thanks for sharing the live. What are you doing, little boy? You gonna get yourself hurt. Yeah, I think that's kind of an old thing. The fur trade was a long time ago. I don't think they really do that anymore. Just pets now. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, they are getting really big. They'll be two weeks old, most of them tomorrow. And then she'll be two weeks old. Look at this. This wild willy here. They're starting to get a lot of personality to them. I was going to try weighing them. I guess I didn't bring the scale close to me. I'll do it tomorrow. <sighs> Pardon me, guys. There's the Black Beauty, the Ebony with the white tail, that's Patches right there, and that's Wild Man right there, Wild Man Willie. <laughs> you crazy little boy, very adventurous, he was the one that did a dust bath today guys. I was actually reading an article about like how chinchillas are in danger now. It's not really because of their fur. It used to be back in the day. Now it's uh, because uh, they're from Chile, to begin with the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, I guess there's gold mining up there, and that's really taken away from their habitats. When I read, I was pretty shocked about that. This one has a lot of energy. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? They're funny, aren't they? Uh, Julie, they're baby chinchillas. And they'll be two weeks old, most of them tomorrow. Oh, there's the crazy boy. That's Wild Willie. Hubert, thanks for following the live.
Are you chilling over there? Give me your patches. Oh, give me your patches. There's patches. She even got white legs too, guys. Um, I let them roam sometimes if I'm watching them. You don't want to just roaming and you're not watching because they chew on everything. They can chew on wires, you know, so you got to be careful. Oh, what are you crying for? Um, I do a lot of playpen time with mine. I have this. This is a smaller one, and I have a really big one. I put the chins in. And I do sit in there and watch them because if you don't watch them in the playpen, they will chew through all this. And it gives you time to bond with your chinchilla, too. But, I mean, if you don't have a playpen, you could always do your, um, like a bathroom. Just make sure the toilet lid's down so they don't fall in the toilet. Or, uh, like a hallway or something. And I don't really bring my dogs or anything around them. They're in their own little area. But those, I don't have cats or anything, I just have dogs. But my dogs, um, are upstairs and I have a big chin room. Be careful. Aren't they cute? They're baby chinchillas. Come here, wild coyote. You can't go all the way up there. Here's the extra dark ebony. She'll go forever during playpen. What, you gonna climb all the way to the top? Thank you, Julie, they are cute. If you guys are new here, give me a follow. I would appreciate it. We had the little boy do a... He did a dust bath today on live, but I haven't seen him try to do it again since. There's one. The extra dark ebony. Here's Patches. She's got a white mark there. Hold on, she's wiggling a little bit. And there. She's also got white feet. Okay, this is the ebony mosaic. Black. The white tail. And then this is the boy, the only boy. He's a mosaic. Oh, little boy, but he does do a dust bath. Tom, thanks for following. I don't know if I said that or not. The comments go by so fast sometimes. If you guys are new here, please give these cute little babies a follow. Oh, don't chew the tag over there to the blanket. You like the jet black one, yeah. It doesn't even justify how pretty she is till you like see her in person. The camera doesn't really pick up how black she is. You see white, but there's not any white on her. It's just a reflection. But yeah, she is very pretty. There's the little male. Sweet baby, thanks for following the live. Ebony mosaic. What you it? And then Patches even has a white belly. Sweet baby, we'll just message you if you go under Chinchilla Diaries. My email's there, or you can message me on Facebook. It's all under the, the bio, whatever they call it. Um, I don't litter train, but I've heard people do. Look at this one. Where are you going? Do you guys see why they're in a small baby cage? Now you can see them. Spider chins. Packers. Thanks for following. That 
that's the oil. And you guys can see how dark her eyes are. So pretty. This little boy's trouble. Watch. He'll climb all the way up the netting. Uh, Raquel, they'll be two weeks old tomorrow, most of them. They squeak. Yeah, if mom was in here, they squeak more. You're a nutty little boy. You like to climb everything. It was funny. The other day, I was like in the playpen and I had my uh, correct Julie you can message me under here there's my email or you can message me under Facebook it's all under the the bayou or whatever they call it link tree but um I was sitting Indian style and the other day I was like oh I gotta stretch my legs out and I did this and they all just they love climb your legs so that's kind of what I've been doing how cute Sonic, thanks for following the live. No, I spent a lot of time with mine. See? I was there when these guys were born. So, really, look at you. Wow, Willie. There's four in this. This is not all from one litter. So, mom gave birth to three, and the other mom gave birth to one. Yeah. That was probably that one. So, um, the other mom that had triplets was struggling to feed them all. So I gave the male, which is that one, to the other mom. That's what that one. So they've all been doing really well. So if the mom was struggling to feed them, um, the babies were fighting for mommy's milk. So. <sighs> Where are you going? Where's you going? Brenda, thank you for following the live. There it goes again. Thanks, Nine, for following. Uh, not too bad. You don't have to trim their nails or anything. They're not hard to take care of. Um, you clean their cage once a week. Some people use fleece. Um, I use drop pans with shavings. And then, uh, you know, you're going to want to wipe down the inside of the cage too, of course. Um, this one will be two weeks old on Sunday. And then you want to, you know, give them food and water. It's pretty easy. Sorry, I might have missed some stuff. I was just trying to answer everyone's questions. They were coming in fast. And she's a little female, the extra dark ebony. Um, they eat oxbow chinchilla pellets, timothy hay, and then um, alfalfa hay. Yeah, and they take dust baths. They live a long time. They live over 20 years. Um, one, they don't really stink to me. I mean, as long as you follow, you know, your cage cleaning, you dust bath them, they don't smell at all. I know other people might think other things, but they, they seriously don't smell. And this dust bath keeps their fur real nice. What? What? Lovies? Come here, dear devil. And then if you had, say, like, yeah, they don't smell. And if they do smell really bad, it's because you ain't cleaning that cage. <laughs> they don't stink. Yeah, you do best. Yeah, they're all pretty in their own ways. They're all very different looking. And they're very friendly. They're all on my hands, look. Yeah, I don't want you guys falling. 
I'm in Missouri, Stephanie. Real life Furbies, correct? Except mine don't make all the annoying sounds <laughs> that a Furby makes. <laughs> I remember my brother had one of those Furbies, and that thing would never be quiet. I think it was possessed. Hard to babies. This one's kind of fat. You a bit fat. Let's check you out. You, you're a little chunky. Let's check out who's the chunkiest. She's pretty chunky, guys. Five up in the attic. These are uh, baby chinchillas. Zorn Jaga. Sorry if I said your name right. They're all coming up my arm again. I got a whole handful of them. Missouri Packers. One climbing up and back my back. That's a little dear devil boy. I wish you guys could have seen him doing his dust bath earlier. It was so cute. Where's you going, huh? Come here. No, no. You ain't climbing that high. You're going to get hurt. Now you guys can see why I don't have them in a great big cage. Because they will climb and fall. Possibly hurt their legs. Or more. Come here, you wild girl. What are you doing, you bad girl? What are you going to do climbing all the way up there, huh? How about you do a dust bed? This is the one wild male. I can see you plotting to jump again. Mommy at three. Oh, you love them so much. Aren't they cute? They only stayed this little, right? Thank you, Sue. You guys are new here, please give me a follow so that way you guys can get um, my live alerts when I go live with the babies, my adults. I do a lot of playpen time with the guys with all the chins. Thanks, Sue, for following. Oh my goodness, I'm in Missouri. Peckers. Over 20, 20 years. No, they don't, they're not hard to take care of at all. You clean their cage once a week, food and water. It's pretty easy. They eat chinchilla pellets, some uh, timothy hay, alfalfa hay, a little water bottle, and they do not smell. Yeah, they're, Sue, they're almost two weeks old this weekend. Most of them will be two weeks old tomorrow. Uh, I do have a husband, correct. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, you're not getting one. Tom, Tom's in trouble. <laughs> Someone said the last time. I mean, I have three dogs that are more work than my chinchillas. I mean, seriously. But I also have two elderly dogs, so they're a lot of work. We should.
Oh, I'm sorry that you had to put your dog down. Hi, Chris. Uh, there's two moms, and it's just easier for me to go live with the babies than um, having to do two separate lives with two moms. <laughs> well, I got kids. They're a lot of work, too, so... But maybe I'll do some um, cage time maybe tomorrow with them. Oh my goodness, where are you going? Where are you going, naughty boy? Oh, we got all sorts of naughty ones. Uh oh, Bambi. I have a cousin that, um, I think you, you call him, I'm not into, is it a male deer or a buck? He got a huge one. Uh, it was like, uh, I think it went up for a Missouri record, and then the Bass Pro wanted to buy the, I don't know what they're called, horns from them or something, because it was so big. It was pretty cool. Oh, wait, he was doing a dust bath. Sorry, I don't know my deer language, Buck. Yeah, sorry. It was like a 15-point buck. I think that's what he told me. But he made the newspaper and all that. It was pretty cool. And he was on the news. We got one of them over here talking. Were you talking, Patches? But they usually will talk a lot. Hang on. One of these two are talking. Are you talking? You guys hear their squeals? If their mommies were in here, they're really loud with their mommies. Aren't they cute? Yeah, they'll be going back to mom in a few minutes. But like this black one, she'll last forever to play. And then the little male does too. Is this one you're talking about, Carolyn? The extra dark ebony. Or this one that's an ebony mosaic. That's Wild Willie. The only boy. <laughs> no problem, Tom. Come on back and watch sometimes. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We like the looks of a velvet. You'll never be sad again. No, you shouldn't be, because look how cute are these guys. Thank you for the rose. Reptile. This one, uh, they're baby chinchillas. This is the only male that I got, and he did a dust bath on live today. I've never seen a two-week-old baby chinchilla do a dust bath. Anna, thanks for following. You'll be in heaven. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty fun. And it's very relaxing, too, just sitting here playing with them.
there's the extra dark ebony. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to get off here and let them go back home with their mommies. If you guys are new here, please give me a follow. I'll come back on live with them tomorrow. And that way you guys will get the live alerts when I'm on with them so you guys can watch them. Alright everyone, have a good night. Thanks for watching.